Hey guys, it's Genevieve and in this week's video I'm going to be making some homemade stamps using some materials that I got over winter break at my college campus's local art store. Um, a lot of the materials, actually in fact all of the materials I'm using in this video uh, can be found in just any craft store you go to, I'm sure. Um, even though I did get them at an art store, I'm sure you'll be able to find them in just about every single craft store you walk into, but basically uh, the core materials that you're going to be needing to make uh, rubber stamps at home are uh, rubber stamp blocks, so you know just little pink blocks that you're seeing that I'm using here that are made specifically for uh, making rubber stamps. You're going to be needing a set of carving tools, so the little wooden tools you see me using on screen um, is one of several different options you have in terms of carving tools. I decided to go for a set of different sized tools, but there are ones available where you can uh, change out the tips and have just one small compact set rather than um, individual tools for different sizes. Uh, and then I also used a pair of scissors to cut up the stamps so that uh, I could make smaller sizes because the blocks, even though they're not terribly big, uh, they were a little big for the stamps that I was making, so I did cut them out with a pair of scissors. Uh, and then in terms of actually inking your stamps, you have uh, a variety of different options. I decided to go for a simpler one where I uh, just took, I just bought a pad of ink basically, but there are options where you can buy um, real ink, which will A, last a lot longer um, in terms of, you know, light fastness or, you know, you can buy really big tubes of ink and use it sparingly uh, and then a roller so that you can roll it onto the stamps and overall I think doing it uh, using the actual ink rather than the pad is going to uh, look a lot better and look a lot more professional but since I was just experimenting and trying this out for the first time I just decided to go for the simple method of uh, using a pad of just black Indian ink and so, um, to start the process, I sketched out some just little vegetable shapes, um, in my sketchbook and, you know, just something to get down onto the stamps because I am just experimenting with these, uh, and then using some transfer paper, I transferred the designs onto the pads so that I didn't have to draw them on because drawing on rubber stamp blocks, if uh, you weren't already aware, is really difficult, really tedious, and just annoying, and I just wanted to avoid that step, so I did. Um, and then after your design has been uh, placed onto the block, you can get to cutting the stamps out to size and then carving them. So one issue that I had, well not necessarily an issue, but um, just a decision that I had to make was uh, what I wanted to uh, be inked. So when you put the stamp down, you're going to have uh, the ink parts, so the ones that are, you know, where the ink is going to show up and be stamped, and then you have the negative space, so you really want to be careful when it comes to deciding what is going to be negative space and what is going to actually uh, put down ink, because if you have too much of the stamp carved away and there's too much negative space, then it's not really going to look like much of anything, but if you don't have uh, enough negative space and you haven't carved away enough of the stamp to actually give the stamp some form, then it's just gonna look like a gigantic blob of ink on your page and, you know, nothing special. So, um, that was something that I kind of ran into, especially with this last one right here, um, the stem of the vegetables. I wasn't sure if I wanted it to have I wasn't sure if I should stop at some point or keep going and uh, I managed to push through and come out with something that looks really nice in my opinion but um, I think I'll definitely come back to this later on and either carve some more away or redo the design or something like that but yeah that's basically this the 
the simple process of carving a stamp. Um, I think that this was something that was really fun to do and I'm really glad that I actually got back into doing it and I'm hoping that I can get into this a bit more because like I said this was a lot of fun and this will also help with my uh, precision carving skills because as you can if you can't already tell uh, I'm struggling with this quite a bit so uh, hopefully practice makes perfect when it comes to this and I can start making some really really cool stamps that I can use in my sketchbooks <laughs> So once my stamps were all ready and carved out and I decided that they were absolutely finished, I could finally get to stamping them. Now I will admit I did do a little bit of a test run on the previous page of my sketchbook to make sure that they actually looked good, but uh, these three stamps that I carved in this video along with a test one that I did yesterday came out really really nicely in my opinion and I'm actually really happy with how they look and kind of even with the um, kind of splotchy look that the ink pad gives them it just adds such a nice texture I think and they actually just kind of look really rustic and I don't know I, I just liked it I liked this process as a whole and I'm really really excited to keep doing more stuff like this so yeah that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video because I definitely enjoyed making it and hopefully I'll be able to make some more stamps in the future. But as of right now, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye.